Welcome in another Falcon BMS tutorial. Today this tutorial is going to cover the end of procedure between the Mavericks and the TGP. This procedure is used to both side the Maverick line of sight with the TGP line of sight. You're going to have to do this for each pylon carrying Mavericks. For me, it's going to be for the pylon 3 and 7. Let's take him off. The first thing you have to do is to power on the Mavericks. For this you're going in at ground mode, estimate page, and you click on power on. It's gonna take three minutes for your Mavericks to be ready. I'm currently heading tier two where I'm gonna find a building easily recognizable to do my handoff procedure. For this I'm gonna use the radar and the TGP. So let's turn on the TGP. And let's see if let's see if there is some interesting building to do the end of. Yeah, it looks like there is something here, some kind of an airfield, yeah. Should be cool. Okay, there is a small bunch of building here, that's gonna be perfect. First of all, you have to lock a building with your TGP. Let's take the bigger one. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have to go on the weapon page and I have to uncage my Mavericks. For that I need to have my master arm armed. Here we go. Sensor of interest on the weapon page, uncaging the first Maverick, zoom in with the pinky switch and I'm just slewing it on the same building. TMS up, ok, it locked, and I just have to press ball side. This is done for the, whip. Yeah, for the pylon 3. Let's do this now for the pylon 7. I'm using my cell step, and caging the maverick, zooming with the pinky switch, I'm slowing, TMS up, building is locked, ball sighting. And it's done. That's all. That's all you have to do. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock the Mavericks with TMS down. Done on the station seven and done on station three. Now if I'm using my TGP, you're gonna see that the Maverick cursor gonna be exactly at the same spot. And this is true for the pylon 3 and for the pylon 7. This is how you do the end of procedure with the Mavericks. So now I'm gonna try to find some targets and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so as you can see on my FCR, I just found some ground mobile target, some ground mobile target. 
So if I slow my red or cursor, by the way, I have to do yeah cursor zero. You will see that my targeting pod is gonna move with the rider. Yeah, you can see it in the head. So let's see what we've got there. I'm gonna change to black hat. Yeah, looks like we've got some fix. Just here. Through here. Okay. Looks like a nice convoy. And this is, looks like a Shilka. So that's gonna be the first target. First thing you have to know when you're using the handoff procedure is that you may not trying to lock at long distance. Why? Because the seeker of the Maverick is not able to lock at 25 miles. And if I'm trying to lock with the TGP, it's gonna start the end of procedure, so the Maverick is gonna try to lock and it will not make it. And you will have a nice avionic fault that you're gonna have to reset by pressing the master cushion button and then the fault, the fault acknowledge button. And as soon as you're gonna have a good lock, the little warning here, avionic fault is gonna disappear. So nothing really, I mean, it's not really bad if you've got an avionic fault. It's just that you're trying to lock from too far away. So just follow your target with your TGP, like I'm, like I'm doing right now. And be sure to lock only when your Maverick's got a chance to lock. Oh, we just have the DLZ on the weapon page and as you can see I'm out of range for the moment. We've got the same in the HUD. I'm gonna try to lock now 12 miles. Let's lock the first shield car with the Maverick in station 7. Okay we've got the C above the 7 for complete so it works. Myself step. Let's try the lock the second one. No. I said the second one. Oh, yeah. Oh, pretty crazy, isn't it? And I've got a C for complete, so it works. Now I have to go th through the keyhole. I've got a small cross in the weapon page, so I can rifle. 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 And rifle. rifle. Yeah, both Mavericks are tracking. We can see them just here. And let's let's egress. No need to go to get closer. Okay. We're good. I'm gonna set the autopilot. And we're gonna look to the fireworks. During the egress, you can already prepare your next Mavericks. So for that, you're just going on the weapon page and cage. Oh, splash one, splash two. Good shit. Missile step, and you're encaging the second Maverick. Here we are. We're ready for the next attack, attack round. Okay, so now we currently have five miles from the target. It's a little bit too close. We're gonna move further away. Let's try something interesting. Looks like SPGs. Oh, we've got tanks here. Yeah. What kind of tanks? Must be T62. And that's the power of the end of. I mean, you can P 
PID your targets with the TGP and you're sure you're shooting the good targets. Okay, 11 miles, let's start to re-attack. 4 Gs. Here are my tanks. Okay. 10 miles. It's a pretty good distance for the Maverick to lock, so let's try this. Station 7. I've got the C for complete, so it's good. It's working. Let's do it with the station number 3. There we go. And it works, we've got both C. Let's go through the keyhole, okay. Solid cross, rifle, rifle. rifle. Both Mavericks, both Mavericks are climbing, so that works. Caution. Going cat Caution. We can see the Mavericks flying here. You can even use the ripple pulse set to 2 and this way you just have to pickle one time to fire both Mavericks. That can be useful. Oh look at that. I'm pretty close, 3 miles. Whoops, just slew off. Oh, just in time to see the splash. Yeah, pretty powerful, isn't it? So that's conclude this tutorial. Have fun with your Mavericks and see you in the air, guys.